Are you tired of struggling with neck, shoulder, maybe mid-back tension? Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa, and in today's class, we are focusing on exercises to help ease and melt that tension away. Everything we're doing can be done sitting in a chair. You could also do it sitting on the ground or standing. Go grab your mats and let's do this. We're gonna get started in a comfortable seated position. I'm sitting in a chair, my feet don't touch, so I'm going to just grab these blocks and place them underneath my feet. You can scoot all the way to the edge so your feet touch or prop them up on blocks or something. You could also be sitting on top of a block, on the edge of a pillow, and these exercises can also be done standing. So find what feels most comfortable for you. I had a special request come in for this class and I love getting feedback for what you guys wanna see, so I hope that you enjoy this one. Once you find that comfortable position, maybe your hands are resting down on your thighs, and just take a couple breaths in. Maybe you find a focal point to look at. Maybe you gently close those eyes if it feels comfortable. But I want you thinking of expanding your rib cage out like you've got this band all the way around your rib cage. And we're filling it up like a balloon when we inhale in all different directions. And then when you exhale, everything's coming back together like that balloon is deflating. So keep coming back to the vision of the balloon as we're breathing in and out. Our mid-back tends to get really stiff and tight if we're sitting during the day behind our devices, driving, just different postural habits that we have. Good, one more breath here. Good. Then you're gonna take a nice big breath in. Reach those arms, lift them all the way up towards the ceiling. Really lift up out of your arms. Maybe you even gaze up at the ceiling. And then exhale, bring those hands back down. Bring some attention to that mid-back area. Two more times like that. Nice big breath in. Reach those arms, lift all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center. Awesome. Last one. Nice big breath. Stretch, lift all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands back down towards heart center. We're gonna place those hands back down on your thighs, coming into some cat and cows, and you're gonna round everything out, pull your chin towards your chest, tuck that tailbone underneath, reach those fingertips forward, and then inhale, lift, pull yourself forward, squeeze the shoulder blades, gaze up at the ceiling, and just see how your spine is moving segmentally. Reach forward, tuck underneath, Round everything and then pull yourself forward. Lift that tailbone, low back, mid back, neck and head. And then start to pull the chin down. Round through that mid back. And then that low back starts to round, tuck the tailbone underneath. So go at your own pace, just gently moving in and out and see what parts maybe are a little extra sticky. Can you really focus and move your spine segmentally? So yes, we're working on easing tension in our mid-backs and our necks and shoulders, but these all play a really important part into our pelvic floor. Working on getting our breathing down. If we've got more room to expand our breath, that helps take some pressure and tension off the pelvic floor as well. One more time here. Inhale, lift. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Nice and then bring everything back through towards neutral here. Then we're gonna take our hands. You can either interlace them behind your back or make a fist on either side. And then you're just gonna think of opening up through the front of your chest. So broadening through your collarbones. Nice stretch in the front of your chest. Maybe you kind of wiggle those arms left to right, gazing up at the ceiling. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. So we're still thinking of that balloon building up all different directions. These exercises are even great to sneak in throughout your day. If you've got a minute or two at your desk, you can pick a couple of these. And exhale, let it go. Good, one more breath in here. Slowly let that all go. Letting your hands go, bring your right hand down toward your side. So if you've got a rest, an arm rest on the chair, if you're sitting on the ground, you can put your hand on the ground. 
You're gonna push into the right hand, take that left arm, lift your left arm all the way up overhead, and gently turn your gaze up towards the ceiling. And then you're gonna bend your elbow, come into a half cactus, start to spin your chest towards the sky. And then inhale, reach that arm overhead, turn your gaze towards the ground. Exhale, open, keep pressing into that right hand, so gentle bend to the side. And then inhale, lift up, reach overhead. Exhale, spin and open. Nice. Inhale, reach overhead. One more time on this side. Exhale, open. Inhale, lift up. Nice. Pull yourself, come all the way back up. Left hand comes back down by your side. Press into your left hand. Right arm reaches up and over towards the side. And you're breathing into that right side of your rib cage. Reach through those fingertips. Nice breath in. And then you're gonna exhale, open, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Or that right shoulder blade toward your spine. Inhale, reach those arms, lift overhead. Exhale, half cactus with that right arm. Inhale, lift overhead. Just notice how you're gliding in and out. Shoulder blade toward your spine. Inhale, lift up. We've got one more on this side. Nice job. Inhale, pull yourself, come all the way back up. Take a nice breath in and just check in. How's everything feeling? What do you notice about the breath? And then we're gonna bring our hands out to the side. So you can either come into a cactus arms or bring those hands behind your head or close behind your head. We're staying nice and open through the front of your chest. And you're gonna bend over towards the right hand side. Lift that left elbow up towards the ceiling. And then bend to the left. We're lifting out of your waist. Careful not to be overarching through your low back. We're wanting to get some mobility in our rib cage. Good, inhale, pull yourself up. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend. Nice work. One more time each side. Nice job, last one. Come all the way back up. Let those arms come down by your side and you're just gonna drop your right ear to your right shoulder and maybe gently move your head forward and backwards, noticing what you feel on the left side of your neck. You can take those left fingertips, reach those left fingertips down towards the ground. And then gently sweep the left fingertips in front. You might, just, might start to notice a little bit more of a pull or less, and then bring it back. And the same thing, you kind of move your head forward and backwards like you're nodding just to see where you feel the stretch the most. And it doesn't have to be this big, massive stretch, just a gentle stretch. And then we're creating that movement with the arm and then coming back into it with the breath. Nice, for three, two, last one. Pull everything back up through towards center. Take those shoulders, pull them up towards your ears and back down, just doing a couple gentle circles. Notice left side, right side of your neck. And then we'll drop that left ear to your left shoulder. Nice, breath in, maybe move that head forward and backwards to see where you feel the greatest stretch. Reach those right fingertips down towards the ground. Ooh, <laughs> and you might notice different side to side, a little tighter on this side. And then you can start to create that movement, reach those fingertips towards the front, and then bring them back. Just gently moving in and out. Notice the right side of your neck. Nice job. For three, two, last one. Bring everything back up through towards center. Pull those shoulders up to your ears and then down and back. One more time, pull those shoulders up towards your ears and then down and back. Nice, breath in. Exhale, let it go. 
So if you are seated, you can stay right where you are on the ground. If you're in a chair and you've got a back in, you can swing your legs over towards the right hand side. <clears throat> and if not, you're gonna do the same thing with the arms in the chair. I'll scoot to the edge so my feet are there. <clears throat> Pressing down into the feet, lift up out of your waist. Nice breath in. Short legs. <laughs> and we're gonna exhale, twist to face the right hand side. So if you've got the chair behind you, you're gonna go ahead and grab hold of that and push your arms over towards the left to twist a little bit more. You're breathing into that rib cage to the side, front and back, and exhale, twist. Now, if you were seated, you can just bring those arms to the outside and lift up and out. Standing, same thing, just a gentle twist. I like using the chair for this one because your hips are have to face forward and you're getting a lot of mobility in that mid back. You might notice how the right hip wants to drop back. You wanna keep pulling that right hip forward, left hip back and rotate from that rib cage. Maybe turning your head all the way over towards that right hand side. Awesome, one more breath in here. And then slowly bring everything back through towards center. And then if you're in the chair, let's just switch to the other side. If you're on the ground, you can go over towards that left hand side. Nice, gentle breath in. On your exhale, we're twisting towards the left. Keep thinking of pushing those arms over towards the right hand side, lifting up nice, gentle breath in and see where do you notice it in your mid back, your low back, down into your hips. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it twist. Awesome, take another breath in. Maybe turn your head to the left just a little bit more. Exhale, let it go. Awesome, one more breath in here. And let it all go. Bring everything back through towards center. And just find that comfortable position. Come back to your breath. See how it feels from when we first started. We got a lot of mobility in our rib cage, opened up the neck, released some of that tension. So as you take that breath in, imagine the balloon filling up and then exhale, letting it go. Good, one more breath like that. Exhale, let it go. Let's take one more nice big cleansing breath in. Lift those arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center, thinking your body for its practice today. If you're wanting more exercises like this and to learn more about your core and pelvic floor, go ahead and check out that description box down below. We have tons of resources for you. If you're wanting even more classes on a regular basis, go ahead and check out the link up here for our new Aptify that is out. Keep up the good work. Until next time.